Alright, I'm here with the historic pop rock game against Sarah Angel. I will play first. Um, okay. This is a little bit uh, slow with turn 3 visionary, but I have my herd and igneous elemental. Notably, I can't play it yet because I don't have uh, evolving wilds. Oh wow, so he is... Okay, that's a great draw. Um, he's on white Soul Warden. Wonder if it's white black or just mono white. So here I could play herd. Um, I I I probably could have thought about playing visionary to draw into um, removal spells because I'm going to need something against uh, if he plays the unicorn okay so he's white black and that's a great draw yep so I will attack here um, he's yeah he's probably not blocking at all So here I will hold up Frostbite instead of Foretelling, because, um, yeah, so Blight Priest is really strong. Hmm. So do I, do I want to play Igneous Elemental for the full cost instead of waiting for it to get discounted? Um... Cause I do have a, I do have um, six mana here, seven even. Um, but I think I will attack with my creatures. If, if they trade for anything, even if he double blocks, I think that's fine. Okay, so he didn't block. Um, in that case, I'm definitely going to play the elemental here. Just reduce the amount of triggers he'll have. So yeah, here's why he didn't block, he has an Elite Blight Priest. And I will see what I draw off Reckless Impulse. Not the best. Basically just spent 4 mana to cycle. Um... Okay, just gonna attack here. I will put a stop here just to bluff having a removal. Here. Oh, that, that's a really hard card to beat here. So, I just draw all lands. Gonna have to draw again with Visionary. And Mindstone. So, I did find the Evolving Wilds. Um, here I am going to attack, even to his Epicure. I, I feel like he, it's unlikely he's going to block with his 2-2s, two you yeah. know. So I, I'm just going wide here, basically, just to end the game. Oof, he has a Blight Priest. It's quite good. Thankfully here, he's pretty much obligated to block. And that is unfortunate, because 
I keep drawing lands. <laughs> Put a stop here. All right. So here's hoping he doesn't have uh, two two creatures. Okay, we got there. Nice. Managed to go just wide enough. Alright, so I, I want my removal here. Um, I want my Owlbear, just because it can attack into Epicure. Um, and I'm thinking if I want my Sylvan Shepherd. And what can I cut even? So I, I can cut Survivor's Bond. I can probably cut a Mind Stone, two Mind Stones. Sylvan Shepherd just gives me so much more time to like find removal to kill his stuff or just uh, go wide enough with Trumpeting Herd. I think I will put it in and I'm going to take out my mind stones. No, no, no. I'm going to take out my explorers. So my, my mana is going to be a little bit more shaky, but um, just gonna have to mulligan well, hope to get a little bit lucky with my mana. And yeah, this, this looks like a great hand. So I get to Wilds into Anarchomancer into Pac-Mate. Looks great. With the Impulse follow-up. And here's a good draw too. So here I'm probably going to save my Elementalist for a removal spell instead of um, Impulse. Oh wow, the Sylvan Shepherd showing up too. So he, he foretold a card um, in black. Oof, that's quite good. Um, So I took out my Survivor's Bond, um, but unfortunately I think I do have to discard Elementalist and Shepherd here. He He's attacking my card advantage, so I just want to keep all the my card advantage cards. Oh, that's a great card. 1-4 is so hard to attack through. So here, I, I think I'm going to go Reckless Impulse into Visionary, just because um, I want to hit a land drop. Oh, wow. I even get the land drop and get to remove his Celebrant. So th this deck is just firing on all cylinders here. Oof. <laughs> right into Epicure. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, so I have six mana here. I think I'm going to attack with the Pac-Mate, see if he wants to trade it for a Pac-Mate plus uh, a removal spell. He doesn't, so in that case, I'm just going to go wide. Alright, so one, two, yeah. See what I draw first.
Druid and a Frostbite, that's going to be very helpful against like a Soul Warden or something here. Heron of Hope. So this is a new card. Oh, perfect. So I uh, I do have seven mana here, um, six mana with an Archomancer to uh, kick this and kill um, kill the Epicure. Just make sure I have a red left up. And I am going to frostbite this Huron right here. I, I don't really want it um, to get lifelink. Oh my goodness, another Epicure. Yeah, th this card is so good. Just, just the stats is so good. Oh, what can I draw here? Hmm. I could draw another Royal Eruption, but I only have one more copy. Um, in 37 cards. It's not going to be great. Oh, perfect. There's absolutely perfect draws. Um. And here I am going to Elementalist. Um, for my Royal Eruption. So I, I was thinking, um, holding Elementalist for Herd, holding Elementalist for, uh, Impulse, but I think um, just just getting back Royal Eruption is the best best course of action here. Oh yeah, just drawing straight gas. And he forfeits. Nice.